Women who have sex at least once a week have more regular menstrual cycles. No woman's breasts are of the same size. One is always slightly bigger than the other. Nipplegasm is a real thing for women. It arouses the same brain regions as with the arousal of the clitoris, cervix and vagina. Women tend to be more attractive during ovulation. Studies show that women who take hormonal birth control are more attracted to men who have less masculine features and lower testosterone levels. Size does not really matter as much as the media makes it seem. Research found that women tend to cheat on their large husbands as they associated the thing with pain and discomfort during intercourse. A woman is said to have reached menopause after 12 successive months of no menses since her last menstrual period. A man's body odor is a turn-on for women. That is why it is logically a good idea to try to get it on once the guy is back from the gym and has taken his shower. A man's fingers have a direct connection to his testosterone levels. The longer his ring finger is to his index finger, the higher his testosterone levels are. Men may struggle to get it on with a partner after too many self-performances. It happens when they get used to the distinct pressure and speed from manual masturbation. High cholesterol is one cause of erectile dysfunction. The months or years preceding menopause, women experience irregular periods, vaginal dryness, hot flashes, night sweats, sleep problems, thinning hair, dry skin, and low energy levels. The infamous G-spot is not exclusive for the ladies. Men also have a similar body part where they feel extreme pleasure upon stimulation. It can be found under his bladder and is more commonly known as the prostate. Neither the number of sexual acts nor the size of a partner or toy can affect the color or size of the vagina and labia of a woman. No penis or toy size will give it a permanent stretch. Switching positions while the penis is still inside the vagina can cause penile fracture. Lubricants are the top seller among all toys. Contrary to what you might think, these liquids beat both vibrators and dildos to the record. Faking orgasms is not as bad as you think it is. The act was often associated with people who are not enjoying the act or those who only want it done ASAP. Men also fake orgasm. Various fluids are in the works during sex that it sometimes make it challenging to say whether one has already ejaculated. Feeling sad after sex is a real condition. It can happen after sex or masturbation and is mostly to surface after an orgasm. One known cause is a preceding trauma that came from sexual assault. The most sexually transmitted disease in the US is chlamydia. Patients with this condition experience abnormal genital discharges with a foul smell, a burning sensation while urinating, itchiness around the organ, and pain during coitus. Contrary to popular belief, large breasts do not respond sexually better than small breasts. Postmenopausal women face an increasing risk of certain medical conditions due to changes in the body's hormone level. Urinary tract infections are common among postmenopausal women. Men want sex more often than women at the start of a relationship, in the middle of it, and after many years of it. Men are very rigid and specific about who they become aroused by, who they want to have sex with, who they fall in love with. Women are more influenced by the attitudes of their peer group in their decisions about sex. Women want to talk first, connect first, then have sex, meanwhile for men, sex is the connection. Sex is the language men use to express their tender loving vulnerable side. It is their language of intimacy. A drink may make you feel more open to sex. But too much alcohol can numb your sex drive. A slow drop in testosterone is a normal part of aging, sometimes called andropause or male menopause. For many men, this doesn't cause any significant problems or symptoms like in women. The drop in testosterone doesn't always interfere with sex, but it can make it more difficult for your brain and body to get aroused.
Some men may notice a drop in libido, while others may lose interest in sex completely. Please like, subscribe and share this video. This channel needs your help.